We have all of this crummy, dirty, dusty, gluey material. Look at this stuff. I don't even know how to describe that. Hey, my name is Andy, and today we're gonna be fixing the sagging headliner in my E93 series. Let's go. All right, so you might remember from my last video where I was showing you guys around the car and I pulled this out and ripped the headliner off. Pull it out, that's super easy. Wait, why is this all stuck? Hang on. Oh! Fuck! Yes, so in this video, we're gonna be reupholstering the headliner. We're also gonna be fixing the cup holder because this works fine, this doesn't quite close. And if we have time, we're also gonna fix the brakes because they currently squeal. So I'm gonna show you guys how to grease them up so they don't make any noise. Let's get into it. Basically, you use a bunch of trim removal tools to just rip your dash apart and you can take this out. Let's go ahead and do that. It's too big. It's too fucking big. Amazingly, I didn't break anything. Now that I've taken both screws out of here, I should just be able to shimmy. Oh, that was easier than I thought. There you go. Looks like an AK-47 mag. Uh, I'm ridiculous. There's something in here that's preventing it from closing. We're gonna go take it upstairs and find out what it is. Let's get this headliner out. One. Torx bits there, there, and there, and there, there, and there. Let's get this out. Oh, fucking thing. That's it. I finally did a thing. Now let's go reupholster it, put the headliner back on, and then we can go stick this back in the car. We have all of this crummy, dirty, dusty, gluey material, which we need to vacuum up because if we put this down and just staple it, then there's just gonna be crumbs everywhere and it's not gonna be flat and it's just gonna be gross. So we need to vacuum this all off completely, make it nice and clean, and then we can lay the headliner. Oh, it's a very weird feeling. Look at this stuff. I don't even know how to describe that. This is the world's most rubbish vacuum. Do you know what? I'm just gonna snap to when it's clean. Thanks to the power of editing, it is all cleaned up and now we can go and reattach the headliner. Although this time, instead of gluing it down, we're gonna staple it for a more permanent install. I've never been too good at arts and crafts, so fingers crossed I don't mess this up. Let's go lay this down and then staple it all into place. So we're gonna start with the side that people can see the most, which is like near the handle. Make sure that this is all nice and tight because if it's a little bit rubbish towards the end, not massively important because you don't really see that. But this part here is like mission critical because this is exactly what people see. So let's start right in the center. Just gonna stick a staple in there. I'm just gonna cut to the chase and show you what this looks like when it's all finally stapled together. And just like that, we have finished mending the headliner. So as you can see, we have stapled all along each ridge here. We've stapled the whole backside as well as the front side. And then you simply pop this out, staple down, and you can put it back in. And it looks, apart from the little bit of staining, it looks pristine and brand new. And when we put this in, you're not even gonna notice the staples. And now that that's all good, we need to move on and actually fix this cup holder. Now, it kind of looks like an AK-47 magazine. It's not, it's just an over-engineered BMW cup holder. And it appears already that there's this little puck kind of at the bottom here, which is stopping it from closing. So what we're gonna do is open this up somehow and mend it, maybe. Why do they have to overcomplicate every single thing? It's like a thousand of these little clips. They, they have to just overcomplicate it. So this is the BMW approved method. Use a butter knife and just kind of pry at them until it comes off. And just like that, we've popped it off. And now we can see what's broken in here. And it looks like it's some kind of a spring coil. I can't even tell you what that is. And I don't even know how to mend it. Now we've got the cup holder working again. It's time to put it back in and 
pretty much just a reversal of what we did before, but now we've got a working cup holder. So in she goes. There we go. We've got a cup holder again. The final piece. Let's see if I can put this back on without breaking it. Ready? Nice. And there we go. One, two, two working cup holders and no problems there. Now let's move on to the sunroof. Now this is gonna be a bit more painful. Damn, these things are so fiddly. Now for the very last piece for this ginormous jigsaw puzzle. It now works, it opens, beautiful. But now is the true moment where we find out how good my handiwork is. All of that, no problem, but let's close it up and let's see if you can see any of the staples. Fuck, it's slow. Ready? Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You can see a couple here and maybe one there. But generally speaking, this is pretty good. And I'll tell you what, this is a damn sight better than what it looked like yesterday. It might not be perfect, but that's pretty damn close. And I'm pretty happy with that. Let's move on to fixing that brake squeal. So I'm going to have to move this car and we're going to have to jack it up. I think that uh, the brakes have actually stopped squeaking. I'm going to take it for a quick lap. And if that's the case, then I think we're all done here. Yes, the check engine light is still on, but there's not much we can do about that. Moments later. After a quick test drive around the block, it appears that the brakes have mended themselves. They no longer squeak and that's awesome. But that means that today's video is effectively over. If you guys enjoyed today's video or found it useful in any way, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Follow along on the journey because in the next episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to sell your car for the most amount of money. I'm talking photos, description, the whole nine. So stay tuned for that. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.